hello folks so uh, in this video i am going to cover uh, you know how can we basically load a different data sets or basically you know make a connection with any relational database system and uh, you know th so there are various ways we, we can acquire this data to perform any machine learning uh, task or as a matter of fact any statistical modeling as well so if you want to analyze data uh, you you need to have that data in place first and then on top of that you can perform any statistical analysis or you can build any machine learning algorithm or machine learning model as a matter of fact so the first and prerequisite task is to acquire that data and there are various ways which i'm going to tell you about so the first uh, way is to uh, get the data from any uh, you know existing uh, relational sorry uh, existing uh, csv file or excel file so the steps involved in that uh, particular activity is so you can see here on my screen this is a csv file 50 startups uh, csv file which i am going to read in uh, uh, you know using python on jupyter notebook so there are certain packages i need to import first so numpy as np okay and then import pandas as pd okay let's run the cell and then after that uh, in order to read the csv file uh, we can uh, basically let's include a comment here first we we'll read csv file okay so we can declare a variable called data csv in which we can include a command pd dot read csv so this is a command okay and then we will give the name of a file which is 50 underscore startups dot csv right so this pandas package is very useful in reading uh, these kind of files so uh, in order to see the content of this file uh, first few rows we can type something like this okay press it shift enter so you can see that you know um, in this excel sheet i have this particular data data like r d spend administration marketing spend uh, state and profit okay so this is the first way and i can say like first so first way of uh, reading the data or uh, creating a data frame using a csv file the second way is to read the data or uh, you know uh, we can use a scikit-learn package to basically load the data existing data set uh, which is already uh, you know there with the uh, scikit-learn okay so let's let me uh, load Boston housing data set okay so the command for that is first of all i will import some packages like sql learn uh, import data sets okay so this is oh, sorry it is from okay so this is a package where which we can utilize the data set method which we can utilize to uh, basically package to uh, load this existing Boston data set. So Boston data set is nothing but uh, you know, it's a housing data set which is uh, very famous and uh, uh, Generally uh, actually it contains uh, 506 observation and 14 features or columns So 13 features or columns are independent variables and one uh, is dependent variable you can see from this uh, scikit-learn uh, website uh, you know documentation that this is the boston housing price data set and as i told you five there are 506 uh, observations and 13 independent variables uh, which are numerical or categorical in nature and then uh, the one one of the uh, feature or column is dependent variable which is mean median value this one okay so you can see the various uh, columns here and the description of those okay so the way we uh, load this data set from a scikit-learn package is uh, we can first of all let me run this cell okay and then after that we'll include other steps so let me type in the meantime so boston data 
equals to data sets dot load and underscore foster okay so that's the way we do it uh it's taking a little bit time to run this command for this okay and okay this has been run then uh so for the brevity purpose let me include uh so this way i have loaded the boston data set okay boston housing data set now if you want to uh, so there are uh, basically independent variables uh, feature set and dependent variable so i will include the independent variables in this particular uh, variable called x and i will say boston dot data okay and then uh, y is the independent uh, sorry dependent variable wherein i will say boston dot target so you can see that no, uh, this is a target variable or dependent variable. Uh, if I want to see the uh, uh, a particular observation or a row, then I can see it by using the indexing. So zero is the zero is the index of the first very first row. X is not defined. Okay, let me run that name boston is not defined okay so boston data basically i need to say boston data here okay and then i can run this okay so you can see that these are the observations of the first row now if i want to see the uh, you know variable associated or the feature associated with the target uh, variable or the dependent variable i can do the same then you can see the target variable value or the dependent variable value is 24 okay now the third way is to basically uh, get the data or read the data from a mysql database okay so mysql database is uh, uh, i can show you here so this this is my uh, mysql workbench where I created one table called order detail and this is my order DB is my uh, database and order detail is my table and the content of this table are given here okay so you can see there are one two three four five six columns order ID date amount units uh, of a product amount associated with the product the order ID and the state and the city where it was sold okay so we want to fetch this particular table data and this is a relational database table okay so uh, we can run all sort of uh, sql commands here so this is the table which is in re relational database form and i want to fetch this data into our uh, you know uh, you know environment python environment where, where i can store this data into a data frame okay and so in order to do or uh, uh, in order to fetch this data is the commands are as follows so let's read the uh, data from rdbms okay like my sql okay and the way we do it is first of all okay so let me tell you one thing uh, in order to do that you need to import two packages like this so pip install mysql and then pip install mysql connector okay and python okay so i can show you here so these are the two packages right pip install mysql and mysql connector python these two packages you need to first of all in install in your python environment and then after that only you can uh, basically uh, 
fetch this data from mysql database okay so let's run those commands so first is uh, first of all we will create a connection so db connect equals to sql dot connect and then there are certain parameters which we need to define so host uh, this is the server name and in our case it is local host so i'm providing the local host ip which is 127.0.0.1 so this is a local host ip and if this uh, mysql database is uh, present on any other server then you need to provide the ip address of that particular server here okay so here you need to provide the ip address of that server okay so next one is uh, uh, database okay so i need to provide the details of our database okay and then the name of the database was this one order db okay so i will mention order db here order db and then we have user id and password so user is in my case it is root okay and password uh, is the password which i set uh, for this sql server okay you can have any other password uh, you can set it by your own or if you have any other password associated with the server uh, which is present remotely then you can provide the password associated with that here okay all right so let me run this section first okay looks like some error here okay so it's password okay and then after that uh, we will uh, create a data frame like this so df is equals to pd dot read sql so just like read csv it's read sql and then we will uh, type a sql kind of statement you know so select star from order detail which is the table name so you can see here the order detail is my table okay so i need to provide that here and then the connection details which is equals to db underscore connect okay and then if you want to see the data frame uh rows then we can give the command like df dot head which will give you your first few which will show you the first few row of uh, uh, of this table so you can see here so here you can see that order id date amount units states city so entire data is available here now entire as in like first few rows of this data so you can match from this so first few rows it showed me and then you can see that order id is here till 5 then date and then amount is also here till 78 units associated with it state and then city okay so this is the way we actually make a connection with um, mysql database and then after that we can fetch the data using read sql and the sql command okay you can um, you know type any sql command here to filter certain records as well and then you know uh, need to provide the connection details here okay now once this data frame is uh, created then you can utilize it for our your uh, modeling purpose uh, machine learning modeling or you know some statistical modeling or analysis so these are the three ways uh, folks i showed you how to uh, basically uh, fetch the data or uh, load the data from the existing uh, sklearn package okay so first one was read csv uh, second one was loading the boston data set and the third one was uh, getting the data from relational database okay 
so guys uh, this is it for this video i will covering the uh, next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching and if you like the like this video then uh, please subscribe or and as well as uh, you know uh, hit the like button so thank you